Hi there Aquarius, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for April. Now it's said that Aquarians don't do romance and even if you do it's rather in a detached way and a partner has to seduce you with their mind uh, as much as their looks. But you know, a very glamorous phase is starting for you from the start of this month. In fact, on the 4th, when Venus moves into the most glorious of areas. Now, she moves through this set to every year for 28 days. But the surprise this year, your huge sparkling bonus ball, is that she's going to be here for the next four and a bit months. This is because of an extended rewind or retrograde she's going to go through. So... Even if you're approaching this month thinking that your love life is something that's fine as it is or you're quite happy single, you could be swept off your feet over this period of time. So don't have too many preconceived ideas. Things can get very exciting indeed. Not least because Venus then immediately forges a wonderful link with your ruler Uranus. So things are going to be happening in the first 10 days of April which can see you sparking uh, the attraction and an existing relationship that's got a little bit dull or it could be that someone new is going to really come into your world and make your pulse race. Also on the fourth Neptune though it's still going to be in, con in a opposition to Mars all of this month it's going to see Mercury nearby starts to go forwards again. Now Mercury going forwards in your sector of, of finance is good because if you've been owed some cash there's much greater chance of getting it in and squirreling it away in the following few weeks. But unfortunately, Neptune opposite Mars is something you need to be mindful of because when it comes to shared finances, someone could be a bit deceptive or a bit tricky to deal with this month, so you need to keep your wits about you. Mercury can help you, and it's saying stay very clear-headed. You can be a very trusting person and are not always motivated just by money, but this isn't a bad time to be a little bit more hard-headed, quite frankly. Now, with the sun moving through the part of your scope that's very much to do with quick wits, you'll have crosswords, puzzles, new media, TV, perhaps blogging, or even if you want to start your own internet site, can see you really busy, particularly in week two, as Mercury moves back into your third house and connects itself with your ruler and your idea zone is going to be exploding back into life, much as it did for some of last month. But you know, there is a big change which occurs on the 20th. Then the sun moves into an area which is really to do with having a bit of a breather, and if the pace has been absolutely relentless, you might be quite glad that things are going to slow down a little bit. This helps you to connect with your inner soul. Just get attuned, because I do feel things will have been going at such a rattling pace, you may always, almost have been breathless at this point. This can connect you with family, with loved ones, and with your emotional situation. And it's possible that if you're attracted to someone who's very good at understanding what makes you tick, this in itself can draw you much closer together. As the month draws to a close, Venus is still going to be twinkling away. And if you're a creative water carrier, this is going to do you a lot of good as well. But I do feel there may be some moments when you just want to chill out with the really important people in your world. And there may even be a family gathering as the month comes to a close. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.